there and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. Who asked you anything? What do you get from this? What do you get from talking like that? Oh, wait. They get paid to mislead the youth. And that's what it is. Yeah, I forgot. Am I stupid or am I stupid? This video, this video that we're about to react to, that we're about to watch together, you and I, you and I, I and you, me and you, all of us, with God, that we're about to watch right now is from the Gospel of Christ. Give some credit to this man right here for making these videos, cool videos, dope videos that this guy makes. We're just going to watch it. We're going to react. I'm going to give my thoughts. You give your thoughts in your head, in the comment, in the DMs, whatever, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Go check this man's channel out. Give him some love. Show him some credit. Show him some love. Show, give him some credit. Anything. Let's get it, guys. Let's get into it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Bruh. You look at people's lives, and sometimes I, I look at people's lives, and I watch them war with God. I'm so tired of having nonstop conversations about what the Bible says. <laughs> hey, yo, who is this? Man. Hey, that's cold though. Wow. What type of energy is that? That's some demonic things. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. That's yo, look at this. Look at this. You live your life in the way that you interpret the Bible. Again, I don't care, but you don't get to take the Bible and tell me, well the Bible says this. <laughs> hey, can you imagine this person is president? Hey, it's over. It's over. God, as you know, it's over in this in this country. Like, in the world in general. Like, every Christian is going to be in prison. You say something about Jesus Christ, you're in prison. Like, what's happening in Israel right now? Like, you, 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 you touch the Bible, you, they put you in prison. You think about the Bible, they put you in prison. That's what this lady is going to be. If, it's going to do if she was... She's a president. She's going to pass the bill. The bill is going to pass, and that's what's going to happen. Cold. The Bible and tell me, well, the Bible says this, and this chapter, and this verse, I don't care. We see it all the time, don't we? Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Do you know how much it takes to say something like that on TV? You have to be like you have to be fully wrapped in a demonic spirit to say something like that on TV. That's some balls. Um, this is a fool's errand. The president of the United States can openly talk about God, right. and every and no, and no one goes, "What is God? What are you saying?" Like, what are you saying? Do you think Jesus came back from the dead? What do you think? Do you think someone walked on water? Do you believe in a literal translation? I like how he's talking, man. I like how he's talking. So, it sounds so... No disrespect to this man, but it sounds so stupid. Like, what do you get from talking like this? I'm just wondering. What do you get? It's not like, again... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they paid him to say something like that. They paid them to mislead the, 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 the youth. I forgot. I totally forgot. Yes, that's that's what I get. There's money. Oh, there's money in this. What does it profit a man to lose his soul and gain the whole world? Or what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Money is nothing. Just so people know. Money that people kill for is nothing, bro. I'd rather not have money. I'd rather be poor for the rest of my life and know God and follow God. I'd rather be poor and follow God. You know, it's not going to be easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy. But that's what I want. That's what I would like to have. If I'm going to compromise who I am, my faith, my everything, just for the money. If I'm going to talk nonsense about God's name, if I'm going to put shame on God's name, I don't want it. And get money, I don't want the money. You can keep the money. The is down because we brought the number down. God did not do that. Bro, why this guy talking like this though? God did not do what, bro. It's like nobody even asked him nothing. Nobody asked him nothing. Who asked him anything? 
just do do your speech who came up with a speech or oh, what demons fate did not do that destiny did not do why does it a lot of people come up here and they thank jesus for this award i want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than jesus who asked you anything what do you get from this what do you get from talking like that oh wait they get paid to mislead the youth that's what it is yeah i forgot am i stupid or am i stupid they get paid to mislead the youth that's exactly what it is like literally nobody said nothing she just goes up there and start talking like that oh yeah because they told her she was going to talk like that and there was they were going to give her this award and they were, they, they were also going to give her some checks all this for the money yeah. anything for the money Okay, not. Nah. He didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here with that damn dog. So all I can say is, suck it, Jesus. This award is my God now. My mom only I'm falling asleep. Oh, this guy again. She, uh, she said there was a God. And, um, <laughs> but that's because when you're a working class mum, Jesus is like an unpaid babysitter. <laughs> And you just want to look at him and say, stay down, man, because it's not possible to win. I don't care about your goddamn religion. They asked the question about why are Christians being treated the way they are around the world? Why are Christians constantly persecuted? Why is Christianity constantly despised, demeans, depreciated? Why, why is there such an all-out assault on Christianity? And I said, well, you can make a simple comparison. People don't want to say anything against Islam because they're afraid. People will say anything against Christianity because they're not afraid. What they get back from us is love. Yes. What they get back from us is forgiveness. Yes. We love yes. because we were first loved. What marks yes. Christianity is our love. And that makes yes. us vulnerable to all the animosity and the hate because there's no fear of retaliation. Yes, sir. The Bible says that in the last days, men will be lovers of self, proud, arrogant, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, swollen with conceit, and haters of God. I don't want you to be too shocked by the constant blasphemy and slander against the God of the Bible, against Christians and those who follow Christ. It's entertaining for the world to mock God. It's trivial for the culture to dismiss the Bible and reject Jesus Christ. For someone to have the audacity to curse God, mock Jesus and the Bible on national TV without any restraint shows you how far gone our society is. That's what I was just saying. It takes, it would take a demon to get up there and talk like that. And just respect God like that. It would take like... <sighs> <laughs> Our culture is a godless, Christian hating, God dishonoring, and Christ rejecting culture. It is one thing to not be a Christian, but it's a serious matter when you use the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in your comedy club jokes, just as this comedian did. And I still get my period. What? Yes! Traveled, went to Mexico twice, did shows, meet and greets, never got COVID, clearly. Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice. So nice. I would say I would say what I always say again. Do not mention the name of God unless you're gonna exalt it. Unless you're gonna put it up there. Unless you're gonna shine the light on it. Do not mention the name of God. If you're gonna mention the name of God, do just don't. Just don't if you're gonna that's something you're gonna do. Don't drag the name of God in the dirt. Do not put shame on the name of God. Blasphemy. But why do they do that? Why do they single out Christians to mock? Why is Jesus Christ, the name of our Lord and Savior, used as profanity in almost every movie and TV series? Yeah. Jesus said in John chapter 15, if the world hates you, know that it has hit me first. You. Yeah. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But you're not. Because you're not of the world. They will hate you. Chose you out of the world. Yes, sir. The world hates you. Yes, sir. The historian of the Young Turks, New York City Governor Cuomo, Joe Morgan, were applauded for being brave for what they said about God, the Bible, and Christianity. But why? 
why does sin man insist on warring with God? As crazy as that sounds. John gives us a glimpse in John 3, 19. This is the judgment. The light has come into the world and people love darkness. Rather than light. Because the days are dark. You can't help it. Yes, sir. They love darkness. Yes, sir. And they're infuriated by light. Yes, sir. By anything that exposes their darkness. And they are enemies of God. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. We know these verses, don't we? And you were dead in your tr trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. Enemies of God, children of wrath, who love the darkness and hate the light. light. And therefore, all we can do is continue to go to war with God. The Bible and the God of Scripture is against sin. Sin is the issue here. The world is in darkness and hates everything that is from the light because the light exposes the darkness. We speak truth in the midst of a perverse generation. Our society wants to do everything that they possibly can in order to live however they want the one, to live. Yep. No restraint, no moral More, class. They struggle yep. their conscience each waking day and say in their heart that there is no righteousness, there is no morality, there, there is, is no, no God, judgment, there is no male or female. Now, marriage is pointless purity is nonsensical there is no god so when christians come along with the word of god and say if you live a certain lifestyle as an unrepentant yeah. Christ rejected person you will die and go to hell yes, you must repent of your sin turn away from them and put your faith in jesus christ so that you might have life the yes sir finds that as the most hateful and loving and offensive message why did they you know, there's a, there's a part in the Bible when they say, uh, I think it was Moses, he says, a man that lays with a man as he led with a woman will surely be put to death, right? And then he turns, he said the same thing about the woman. I said that to somebody. I said, oh, that's what God said. That's in the law, the book of law. And then a person told me that, why would God say anything like that? Do you think it's actually real? Like, if it was real, why would God wouldn't say anything like that? You think I made this up? Like, it, I did not make this up. It's in the Bible. It's in the book of law. You know what I mean? It's, so I don't I don't understand what people don't understand. It's clear. Like, I've seen this pastor that say, I wish God made it clear. He said, made it simpler. What is that? Mike thought? He said, I wish God made it simpler. Sim something. When somebody asks him about homo homosexuality, like, would you marry a gay couple or anything like that? He said, I wish God made it clear. Or I made it I, I wish God made it simple or something like that. Now I'm not putting shade on him, but I'm simply saying God made it simple. I wish God would have made it so much simpler. It was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. <laughs> no, I'm serious. As a pastor, like, so what do you think about gay men? I don't know. God made it clear. It cannot be clearer than that. That's the maximum it can be. It's simple. It's written. Anybody that can read can understand. It's not. It's not written in in tongue. Like it's not written in like special language. It's written the way anybody can understand if they read it. You get it. They find that unloving. Why do they think that message is offensive and hateful? Jesus said in John chapter three, because they love darkness rather than light. Yep. For their deeds are evil. Yep. For everyone who does evil hates the light. Yeah. And does not come to the light so that his deeds will With be true. exposed. Yep. They hate the Bible, despise the light, and certainly do not want to be governed by it. Yes, sir. What a homosexual actor said to John MacArthur on CNN when he confronted him. Supposing then, Chad doesn't want to enter the kingdom of heaven. Is right. Well, I think he does. What? No, wait, don't think, don't you? What if he doesn't? <laughs> Absolutely, and you know what? And, and if that's the case, great. But however, there may well, be people that don't, and I don't want this country governed by the word of the Bible. I don't want it. Yeah, but let me just let me go back to what I said. To be sure. open to people who believe in all kinds of things. But the Bible says that no sinner, no list a category more than just homosexual, will ever, ever enter the kingdom of God. And then it says this: "But such were some of you, but you've been washed, you've been sanctified through faith in Jesus Christ." And I quote, "I don't." 
want this country to be governed by the word, word of the Bible. Bible. And why? Because the word of the Bible is too restricting. This yeah. is what every sinner says in their rejection of God. I don't want this God or his Bible or his powers to come and tell me to repent of my sin. I want to live however I want to live. Yes. So since God and the Bible are the issue, then they war against it. Though that war may be in vain, they still do. In their effort to shut up the light and suppress the truth, they remove the Bible from all public schools. Yes. Restriction, restrict, and cancel yes. the truth. Yes. And imprison those who proclaim it and execute those who live according to the truth of Scripture. The darkness will do everything it can to snuff out the light. That is their strategy to win the war against God and the truth of Scripture. But as Vodibakum stated, it is a fool's errand because they're not going to win that war. They can of course not. Win that of war. course not. You can't win the war <laughs> with God. You cannot. You already lose. You already lost before even started. If war with God will end in him being smashed by a rod of iron. The nations that rage against God will bow before God and will be ruled by God. Yes, sir. Sinners are ignorant of the sovereignty of the God they curse, the power of the word they dismiss, and the dire consequences of being separated from the God of Scripture. Blinded by darkness and influenced by the prince of this world, their behavior is an accurate biblical description of what a sinner is, a God-hater. These are the last days, and it is unmistakable that the spirit of Antichrist is fully at play, and we can see what the Apostle Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 3 being unraveled yes. before our very eyes. Yes. They curse God, deny the existence of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they want absolutely nothing to do, to do with, with the it. Bible because the Bible is the inconvenient truth that stands in their way to live in complete immorality. It was interesting to hear Christian Bell, the actor who plays Batman, mocking God by thanking Satan for his movie accomplishment. And the Hollywood audience just laughing. Alone. Yep. I'm reminded of Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, there There's no God. no God. The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the sons of men. Searching for they are who seek God. Yep. They have all turned aside. Together they are corrupt. There's yep. no one who does good, not even one. Yes, sir. Uh, Christian Bell and Anna Kasparian are to be terrified of the God of the Bible instead of mocking him because he is real. He's not a mythical character like the false Greek gods. He is the true living God who in an instant can wipe away the entire universe if he wanted to. Like that. To mock God, reject Christ, and dismiss the word of God. Today is the day for you to stop your fool's errand and your vain war against God because you will never win the war. You must surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. So they have no hope of victory. Their only hope is repentance. Yes, sir. Therefore, O kings, be wise. Be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Those who reject God and mock the word of God and reject Jesus Christ will never win and they will spend their eternity in hell. Yes, it doesn't have to be like that because there is an open invitation for you to be at peace with God. The Bible says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. God. There is peace available in Jesus Christ. You can have peace with God and the peace of God. You simply must repent of your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ and Christ alone. And at this moment, I'd like to kindly extend an invitation to you to subscribe to the channel if you love and appreciate our content and help us share the videos and spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if this is your first time on the channel and you made it this far in the video, well, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in our next video with Loving Christ, John Henry with the gospel of Christ. Well, thank you, Henry. For making this video for making this awesome video this video was very very nice very very nice video you know uh for those people for the people out there for the people out there that trying to pick a fight against god you're never gonna win you're just not gonna win there's no hope for you you already lost the battle before you even start. You, you like, you just, 
you're not in the zone. You're not in a. It, pick a fight against something. I don't know something that you can win, but this one is not. It's not for you. It's not. You can't. You cannot do anything. You know what I mean? The only hope for you is to repent, repent, and thank God for the fact that you're still alive. You know what I mean? You know, I always take this example. I always talk about this, uh, the Bible part of Sodom and Gomorrah. Anybody ever heard of it? Anybody ever heard of it? Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom and Gomorrah was the, it was, a, it was this, there was this town that everybody was sinning. Everybody was doing whatever. Everybody was doing like, man sleeping with man, women sleeping with women, this and that. Like, people killing each other, money, this, blah, 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 blah. Everything, all type of dark stuff was happening in there. But then, God decided to make the town disappear. And then he saved one person, Lot. He told Lot to get out of town, go with his wife, do not look back. And then as he was going, his wife turned and she looked. Then she turned into a stone. Right now, this generation right now, we are doing worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. We are doing worse than the people that used to live in those in those towns, Sodom and Gomorrah. We're doing worse than that, you know. But God is not destroying us. He's just waiting for us to repent. He's just giving us giving us another opportunity every day. It's a new opportunity for anybody out there to come back to Him. It's never too late, but it's gonna be late one day. It's never too late to this late. It's never too late to this too late. You know what I mean? Because tomorrow's not promised. All you got is now. All you can do is now. You can't do nothing about the past. You cannot do nothing about the future. But you can do something now. That's what you can do. What are you going to do about it? Hit the subscribe button. We're going to be back again soon with some more videos. Hey, on on. So only God can make me I'm unique. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. Who did? God. This is Christ. Right. I couldn't do it at all. No. I would not do it at all. Hey. I ain't finna do it at all. This is Christ. Don't be with me. Right. Holy Spirit's in my bones. bones. Thank you, God. I'm not alone. Oh, just time you should have known. Yeah, yeah oh, just time you should have known. Yeah, yeah. God watching me from the top. Yeah, watch. Hey, higher than your drone. Yeah, higher. God watching me from the top. Yeah, watch. Yeah, hey, higher than your drone. Yeah, shoot. Holy Spirit's in my bones. In my bones. Thank you, God. I'm not alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just time you should have known. True. Yeah, oh, just time you should have known. Right. These are the people that made me. These are the people that made me. These are the people that made me. God. Just cause I couldn't do it at all. I wouldn't do it at all. I ain't finna do it at all. Just cause doing it with me. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. Beautiful people that made me. God. Just cause. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Never mind, my mom.